That's got to feel good. A little standing ovation for you, buddy. Welcome oh. back. You know, this is your 10th appearance on our show. Yeah, I was joking. I, I, you know, trying to pick a shirt to wear. I, I had on a shirt, and I was like, I think I've worn this on this show like <laughs> Before. five times. So I had an emergency, uh, emergency change. Yeah, well, you look good in whatever you wear. But uh, I, I want to uh, congratulate you on the book. Look at this right here. Come on. Oh. The Ravage. Uh, you know what, I was going to ask you, because we've been on, I've asked you every single question, but uh, I, you've been in a bunch of music videos yeah. with some major people. I mean, like uh, uh, Keith Richards, uh, uh, Lady Gaga, uh, I love that one, Bjork. Bjork, Radiohead. Radiohead? Heck, yeah, a whole bunch of them. Do, uh, do they come to you, or do you find them? How do you get in these all these cool music videos? Uh, you know, when I first, uh, I, I lived downtown L.A. when nobody lived down there, and I... Uh, they kind of all knew each other, all these directors, and they kind of passed me around. So I did a bunch of them, but... Uh, like, what was Keith Richards like? Keith was cool. He kind of singled me out, and he goes, come with me to, to his trailer. And I was like, oh, my God, it's Keith Richards. <laughs> and I'm sort of sitting on the sofa like that, and somebody's doing his hair, and he goes, Norman, you know how I got this haircut? And I go, no. And he goes, my mom gave me money as a kid to get a haircut, and I kept the money and cut it myself, and it's been like this... Ever since. And that's I was like, a, I love you. That's a you know? rad Keith Richards yeah. story. Yeah. Uh, I want to talk about uh, The Walking Dead. I know you just finished filming the final episodes. Yeah. They're going to air this fall. Uh, how was it the last day on set? Was it emotional? Yeah, there was a lot of drinking. There was confetti <laughs> cannons. Confetti cannons are good, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then they, you know, they hand me the, the, the mic. And I, I don't know, it just it sort of felt surreal. And then... A friend of mine, Jess, she taught me a, a phrase, is the, is the juice worth the squeeze? And I, and I love that phrase, and I kind of said it to the, to the group. I was like, you know, the Walking Dead juice has always been worth the squeeze, and I realized how perverted that sound <laughs> sounded. Yeah, but no, but I understand it, that, yeah. You know what I mean? Was, yeah. it worth, was the juice worth the squeeze? Was the juice a, worth the squeeze? It's a lot of work to do these yeah. shows. Oh, my God, it's a ton. And you've been on for, was it 11 seasons now or something? 11 seasons, 12 years we've been on. I mean, wait, yeah, 12 years, 11 seasons. Yeah, wow. Um, yeah, and you know, this last season too was, uh, was a full year, which was exhausting, yeah. you know, and you're in the woods and you're crying, and you're killing and you're screaming and fighting, you know, you've seen the show. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You yeah. know, it's not succession where you're like, you know, on a yacht having caviar, <laughs> you know, reading squirrels and killing each other. Yeah, that's, so, yeah. Uh, that would yeah. be a little disappointing if that was you. This uh, is you. Succession, the... call me, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is you right here on your uh, first wow. episode when uh, Daryl, November, you survived. Yeah. It's also been announced that you're going to have a spinoff series. Yeah. Daryl yeah, yeah. is having a spinoff series. Do, do you know anything about that? Do you have any details? Yeah, I know it's going to be much different than the show. You know, it was originally uh, Carol and I, Melissa McBride and I. Yeah. And she's taken time off. Like, you know, 12 years is a grueling schedule, and she wanted to take some time off, so yeah. she's doing that. And she deserves it. And, um, you know, they kind of came to me. And I, I imagine those characters are going to meet back up at some point. And I might even meet up with some other characters down the road. I mean, yeah. yeah so, all, right. all right, so good. But, you know, she's taking time off. And uh, in the meantime, they were like, hey, you want to you wanna go on a mission? And I'm like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, speaking about going on a mission, congrats on this novel, bud. Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a real, this is a real book. I mean, yeah. it's a real novel. This is like, I put out kids books this 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 is my book you know it's like it's like that that's my books there and then this is and look look it's almost the same thickness really if you think about it yeah that's yours uh, I'm, I'm stealing yours on the way out <laughs> yeah what, what made you want to write a book you know that i've been approached a couple of times about writing books like about my life but i don't want to get beat up so i'm not going to do that um, maybe later on down the road. Yeah, uh, but you, tell you have too many stories. Yeah, I don't want people knocking on my door. Uh, but, but I don't know. I, you know, I have a production company, so I'm always looking for stories to make into TV shows or whatever. And I took a bunch of different stories, uh, and they all kind of have the same theme of finding family along, you know, along the road in like the weirdest places. Kind of like Walking Dead, I guess, in a way, in in, in hindsight. But. Um, I, there's a friend of mine who used to hop trains. I kind of took a story and I kind of created that. And I was shooting a ride and I was on an airplane coming from Uruguay to um, Costa Rica. And I'm love, love ride, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. And we're about to start another one. Uh, Kanu and I are doing Utah. 
No uh, way. Yeah, next week. So, but anyway, um, I'm sitting next to this businessman on a plane, and I'm covered in dirt, and I smell really bad, and I have a backpack on my feet, and the sand's coming out of it, and people are going by going, can I get a picture? Can you, you know, an autograph or whatever? And he goes, who are you? And I said, I'm on a TV show. That's what that's about. And uh, he starts talking to me, and he's like, he runs one of the largest Fortune 500 companies in the world. I don't ask him what, which one, but he's, you know, he had a series of events happen, and he found himself kind of out in the world traveling. Someone would go, you should go to Chile. And he'd be like, yeah, okay. And he was bouncing around trying to find himself, kind of. And he's looking at me with tears in his eyes, and he's like, I've spent my whole life making money. I've, I've wasted my whole life. And, I, and it just hit me, and I sort of ran with the story sort of based on that, like a that. whole bunch of different things. Well, yeah. That's the best, yeah. you take those stories and make them into a, make them into a nice novel. Yeah. Uh, congratulations on this, uh, it's a great book. Norman Reedus, everybody, check out The Ravage, which is available on May 10th.